air signs gemini libra aquarius welcome back to my channel everyone thank you for being here with me for your weekend tarot reading we're going to be looking at what is the messages what are the messages for you these next 24 to 48 hours um, and we'll see what comes up in relation to love so this is for uh, gemini libra and aquarius sun moon rising and venus so let's go out and lay out a few cards here and see what's going on here with you air signs what can you expect what are the messages here for you Okay, so what sort of crowns you're reading is the Ace of Pentacles. So this is this is powerful because I feel like you're inviting more stability into your life here. Now, I feel like there is a new connection or a new person maybe coming up under an Earth sign here, Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. Um, but again, it's the promise of stability here. So straight away with that Ace of Pentacles, it tells me that this is the universe, God, spirit. This is something trying to sort of something a higher power other than you is trying to steer you in some sort of direction here air signs so you have to listen to it a door is opening so i feel like there's an opportunity that's open now for a lot of you you may not be seeing it okay you're in that full kind of energy as the swords you've come up as the nine of swords so if you're sort of i feel like you're still dwelling on an ending a lot of you could be a breakup uh something that happened some sort of ending that uh like you had an argument and it was like the last words that were said you're still in that nine kind of energy and you're still focusing on that um maybe you do have to sort of go through that nine before you welcome in the ace but i feel like possibly why you're not seeing that ace um that ace of pentacles is because your mind um your energy your focus uh appears to be on whatever this nine was and I feel like with the fool coming up here as well, I feel like it's put you in a place where you're not really sure what's next. You're like, okay, well, what do I do now? What do I do with myself? Now that this is over, or now that they said they don't want this, or now that, you know, X, Y, and Z has happened, you know, now that sort of I want a new chapter, I want a divorce, you know, I want a separation, now what? It's like you don't really have a clear sense of self with the fool card, so you're feeling a little bit lost. You know, we see this bird here, so that's that's the message here okay it's that bird it's taking flight so i feel like something's taking off here but i feel a lot of you wear signs are sort of you're scared to end things or you're scared to leave the familiar because you don't know what it's going to bring okay maybe it's because you're not having direction or you're, you're scared to be lonely um or you don't really know but i feel like the universe is trying to reinforce you that you are in good hands and that you will find your direction when you need to um, now, I don't know if this is also you, like you're scared to get hurt again or to be placed in the same position. Aces can be someone coming back and knocking at your door, maybe wanting a second chance. But with the full card, I feel like there's been too much that has happened. You know, obviously each person's going to be different. Um, but I feel like for a lot of you, too much has happened to sort of go back to that chapter now. It's like there's been too much pain or too much embarrassment or too much foolish energy um, to go back to this sort of connection. It could be with someone foreign or someone who is at a distance with the full card. So maybe this is like a long distance connection. Mm -hmm. This is with someone who's a little bit further away. Regardless, um, to have that come up in the reading, I feel like the universe is telling you that there is an opportunity that's coming. And you may be somewhat blinded to this because you're too busy focusing on the previous chapter of your life or maybe you know you're just trying to process it all it takes time we can't just process it overnight you know it takes time for that to happen um, and we need to work on ourselves with that number four um, but you do have the four of cups which is telling me the universe wants you to enjoy the surprise and the universe right now doesn't want you to know what's ahead because it's like it's going to take away from the excitement it's going to take away from what you wanted, what you thought, what you assume. It's like, sometimes it's so pleasant when we go into it and we don't really know what's ahead. I feel like the Four of Cups is some sort of epiphany. So I feel like as you come through that nine, that, that nine number, you're gonna have this epiphany, right? Something's gonna come, some sort of inspired thoughts 
or opportunity that's going to come knocking at your door and this is what's going to change you and i think that's connected to whatever this ace is this new person this new connection um we've got the star of creation on the door which tells me in some way you've created or you've attracted this ace of pentacles you've deliberately invited this into your life through what you've done here um but i i i, I keep getting this that you guys are still stuck on like okay what if this is not going to work out or what do i do now how am i going to support myself you know, how am I going to get into this relationship? It's like you're too busy questioning the practicalities of it when sometimes you just need to trust. I do see you with the Seven of Pentacles. You are planting some seeds, so you will take the necessary action you need to um, to work towards whatever this ace is. Um, but, I, you know, I can't help but feel there is this, this message of, like, feeling lost or feeling helpless with the Fool. Um... But sometimes it's when we're put in these positions that the most beautiful things can come out of it, right? Um, you know, as that saying goes, we meet someone um, at our best, not our worst. I, I feel like that applies in reversal. Like we meet people at our worst, not our best necessarily. Because sometimes we're like pushed up against the wall and, you know, we're in certain situations where we would we, we start to do things we otherwise wouldn't. We take a chance, we take a risk like that fool does. So the message overall here for you, Air Signs, is that you have to take a risk for this ace and it's going to be worth it. Because without taking this risk, you won't know what's ahead. You won't be able to enjoy it because if, you, if you're not going to sort of leave that comfort zone, uh, leave that relationship or leave that kind of person or leave behind singledom, whatever chapter you're going to, how will you ever know what that ace is um, if you're too busy focused on that nine? There could be some tensions here. Uh, notice how there's like tensions here with the Nine of Swords and the Four of Cups looks on. Um, I don't know if this is like you're sort of watching and waiting. Maybe some of you are waiting for someone to reach out or you're waiting to see if things sort of get better, patch up, and then make a decision about that. Um, either way, it's growth. Seven of Pentacles is here. So either way, if you're, choosing, if you're choosing to sort of wait it out and see what happens, that's growth in itself. If you're choosing to uh, take the risk um, with that full card, um, that's growth in itself. It's growth in all areas because it's it's adding up. It, it's somehow both leading to that epiphany um, that needs to happen, this emotional epiphany with that Four of Cups that needs to happen. And you have Aries energy with the Fool card. So you're in a good vibe. Okay, you've got the motivation and you're feeling fired up here. Um, it's just about channeling that energy now, Air Signs, and pursuing it because that's what's going to elevate you forward. That's what's going to move you forward Um essentially uh, air signs so um, I'm gonna leave it there thank you again everyone for watching don't forget to leave behind a like share or a subscribe and we'll shed we shall be catching up soon much love and bye for now